You guys welcome to a quick little informational career mode how to video. Today we're going to be going through how to change the stadium on career mode. Um, this has been an issue for years and years and years and EA still haven't seemed to fixed it. So before you even start the career mode, um, this is the only way you can change the stadium. It's it, it's kind of frustrating because if you're like a League 2 team um, and you start off in like a 5,000 capacity stadium, go on a big road to glory, save and go up to the Premier League, win the league and you're still in that 5,000 stadium, um, it would be nice to be able to upgrade it to like a 30 or 40,000 stadium. So before you start the uh, save, go over to customize, edit teams and download updates. Now I've done it already so it will be uh, updated fully but this basically for some reason when you update the squads it updates the stadium. Um, so it's a little bit frustrating. I think you can actually, can you do it here now? This might be a new feature that I've literally just realised doing this video. So you can actually change the stadium before you even start the career mode. So you can set, this actually is quite good. So you, if you really wanted to, you could go through each and every single team um, and give them a better stadium, if that makes sense. There's a stadium that's pretty similar to what they have already. Um, but let's say, for example, we go down to League 2 um, and pick Bolton, for example. Let's see what kind of state. So, yeah, Bolton have a similar-ish stadium. You know, they have quite a big stadium in League 1, so they've got for Sanderson Park. Um, but let's say you wanted to update all the stadium names. Um, I think theirs is still called the Reebok Stadium. I could be wrong. Um, they probably changed it because of... Um, <laughs> Because of what their kit sponsors are at the minute, but yeah, we'll, we'll go. I think let me just check this because I don't want an angry Bolton fan. Um, apparently, it's the University of Bolton Stadium. It was named the Reebok Stadium. We'll call it the Reebok Stadium for the sake of this video. Um, so, apply and exit, and I'll actually do it. Um, I kind of want to. So, you could go through literally each and every team and have their accurate stadium, what they um, have their stadium called in real life. So I think that's a nice new feature from EA. Um, so now once you've done that, done your stadiums, go over to um, the career mode, start a new career mode. It will tell you this, do not late download the latest squads because that will update your stadium for some reason. Uh, use the current squads, then go into manage a career, then go find uh, whatever manager you want, blah blah blah. Go over to League 2, Bolton, and hopefully, if that works, so it does, so that's really, really good. And it would be interesting to see if Download Latest Squads does actually reset all your stadium um, save information. That would be very interesting indeed, but I think that's a really nice feature for me eh, this year, that they have, they've taken a step in the, like a teeny tiny step. Um, in making things better, but I think what would would have been brilliant is if EA actually um, added the foot stadium to career mode. Like this is what I was kind of expecting when EA announced this. I was like, this this will make career mode so much more interesting. Um, so hopefully, you guys understand the pre uh, premises of uh, foot stadium. Basically you can customize and make your stadium bigger and um, change the style of stuff and celebrations and it's just it's just what career mode needs and may, maybe it'll come next FIFA um, but it's a, it's a little bit of a shame like especially with the trophies like imagine if you had won the Champions League and you had your Champions League trophy just in the stadium I know it doesn't really work like that but it'd be, it'd be nice just for the sake of the game um, to have the ability to edit the stadium so yeah hopefully guys did enjoy this quick little video um i really do like this for me eh? what they've done with the thing it's much more different to previous years um where the stadium hasn't where you haven't been able to edit more than one stadium in the past you've only been able to edit the team that you are using now you can literally edit all you know <laughs> All the teams in the EFL pretty much. Obviously, because Leeds' stadium hasn't been um, scanned, that's that's why you can edit theirs. Obviously, the rest of them have licensed stadiums, and you can't you can't basically change a licensed stadium. So, for example, we we'll go to PSG. It's not there. 
go into Germany, go to Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich is there. Have they removed Bayern Munich Stadium? Was Bayern Munich Stadium never there? Maybe they have. I don't know. I don't know how the licenses work, but yeah, Dortmund's not there, for example. Um, Wembley won't be here because England have already got Wembley. And uh, yeah, hopefully, guys. Uh, enjoyed this video make sure you do leave any comments down below on any other career mode how to uh, related videos that you want to see and see you soon bye